guys, it's Meg. Welcome back. Welcome to my channel if you're new. I thought I'd spice it up with the background a little bit today because I thought I'd do a little bit of change of scenery for you guys. I know it's not much scenery because it's literally just like my little cupboard in my room but i don't know i just fancy filming here today and the lighting is really good so i want to take advantage of it today i'm going to be unboxing conan gray's brand new record found heaven this came out was it april 5th i believe it came out i did actually receive it in the post on release day but i was busy i had a work trip in london which was super exciting if i'm being honest i've had so much on that i've not really had time to sit down and do a video for you guys but i've just gotten ready for work i start work in a few hours so while i have some time to kill i thought I'd do the little unboxing. There were a couple different variants in terms of like pressings. I don't think there were too many, um, but there were also different covers as well. I was gonna get the classic cover until I saw this. I decided to get the exclusive Ali Rose alternate cover. I just really like the artwork on this. I just thought it was very pretty. I love the colors. I love this flower crown. Like I just thought it was such a cool cover. So I decided to go for this variant. And this variant actually did come with his autograph, which is another reason why I purchased it. So I'll go through them both individually in a second. So the price that I paid in total was 33 pound and 37 pence. So apparently the Ali Rose edition vinyl was 29 pound and three pence and then the signed art card was 96p so that's the breakdown let's start with the autograph that is a big part of why i purchased this i do collect autographs if you guys want me to do an autograph collection then i happily will do that i'm always looking for signed cds and autographs so any chance that i do get to get them I always try my best to get them. When this came for signed art card, I was really happy. I'm not gonna lie, online, it did look like it was gonna be a bigger print that was signed. Like I thought it would be like Olivia Rodrigo size print, or I thought it would be like the Taylor Swift Midnight's print that she did. I don't know, I was really shocked when I found out how small this was when I actually received it, because it looked bigger online. It looked like it was advertised as bigger. I haven't opened it. As you can see, it is perfectly in the packaging because I wanted to save this video. So let's open it up. It does feel like it's card though, which is good quality. Oh, oh no, it's paper. The card is, <laughs> the card is just protective. So this is signed art card. It's just like the smallest art card I think I've ever received. This is tiny. So on the back, it has the album logo and on the front, it just has the classic cover and then his autograph in the corner. I'm not gonna lie, it is a very clean autograph. Like it looks printed. It's not like you can see the marker, but it just looks so clean. I'm shocked at how like, this is probably one of the cleanest autographs I've gotten. Like it's very, I really like the placement of it. I like how it's done. Yeah, it's a really nice autograph. Yeah, absolutely love this. I can't wait to add it to my collection. I do wish it was bigger. Can this even fit in a CD? Let's test it in the Olivia Rodrigo CD. Hence, you know, they're friends. I, I think this is even gonna be too small. Yeah, look, it's too small. Uh, so I don't really know what to do with it. I was like, oh, I'll just put it in a CD. It's too small for a CD. Oh no. If you guys have any recommendations of what I should do with this, I don't really wanna put it on my wall. I don't want to damage it. But if you guys have any ideas on what I can do with it or where I can like protect it and store it so it still, you know, preserves it, but I can see it on display as well. I don't know. I just don't really want to stick it on my wall because I don't want to damage the back photo either. So yeah, just give me your suggestions. But regardless, it is a cool little sign autograph and I do really like it. I do just wish it was a little bit bigger because I think it's too small to like the point where I don't really know what to do with it now. <laughs> At least if it was the size of um, the CD, then I could just put it in the CD, you know? I know he has done signed CDs and I did really want to get it, but I was like, I've already got an autograph. There's no point in me getting a second one. I'm actually seeing Conan Gray in uh, November, which I'm really excited about. So I can't wait to see him live. Okay, let's move on to the actual record itself. So here's how the cover looks with the wrapping on. I really love the back cover. It's giving Romeo and Juliet vibes, the back cover. Like Leonardo DiCaprio's Romeo and Juliet. Do you know what I mean? It's very much that aesthetic. Here's a close up of how that looks. Okay, let's just open it. It's not a gatefold, is it? No. Mine is a little bit bashed on the sides, not too much. I mean, I know it's cardboard, so it's kind of expected, but it is a little bit like damaged up here. Can you see that? I don't think anywhere else. So I think it is just this corner that's like been like crushed a little bit. It's not too bad though. Like, so I know this is on an exclusive pressing, which I'm very excited to see how that looks. It looks recycled online. I don't think it actually like was advertised that it was like recycled, but it just looks it. I don't need to save the wrapping because there's no like hype stickers on it or anything. Oh, that's actually quite bad. Yeah, that's quite badly damaged actually. It didn't look as bad in the packaging, but yeah. Oh well. <laughs> Okay, is it double LP? Is this 
Oh, is this a poster? Oh my god. This is this gonna be a mess? Oh my god, this is massive. Oh my god. Ah. Oh, okay. This is one of the biggest posters ever. How am I gonna show this? Okay, so, so on one side it says Found Heaven. It has um, like a note from Conan here. Am I might get this in frame? I hope I am. And it has the teardrop symbol like his logo oh i think this is actually different because i've seen some unboxings on tiktok of this record and the teardrop is yellow for others but i think because i've got the ali rose edition it's purple which i guess is you know quite cool this is one side of the poster oh my god this is the other side it has conan stepping through a neon sign of the logo slay that is one of the biggest posters i've ever seen ginormous poster so if posters are your thing perfect for you okay is there anything else in here before i go into the record no nothing else okay so here's what the sleeve looks like very cool wait it looks translucent purple what what <laughs> wait look at this pressing this was not what i was expecting it's not bad i'm not upset at all like this is better than what i thought it would be but this looked completely different online. I do not remember it being translucent. Maybe, uh, maybe I've just got a memory of a goldfish. I don't know. But this, that is stunning. Like a translucent pinky purple color. And it's got the star inverted on both of the sides. That's crazy. I swear it looked different online. I'm going to put a photo on the screen of what it looked like online because I do not remember it being marketed as like translucent. I've got to search it up now because I'm intrigued. It is a beautiful pressing and I'm not mad about it at all, but it's just, it looks different online. It's been taken off the site. Oh, hold on. Let me look at my email confirmation. It did not look like that. I mean, it's beautiful. I'm not annoyed at the pressing at all. It's better than what I thought it would be, but it definitely didn't look like that online. Actually, while we're at it, I'll be able to show you the size that I thought the signature would be. See, this isn't the exact listing that I got, but at the moment on his website, the day that I'm filming this, which is April 12th, he's advertising the picture disc with a signed insert. This is kind of like what mine was advertised as. And look at the size of the insert. It looks pretty big. So I was expecting like a Taylor Swift Midnight signed like size print. Like I said, I'm not mad. I'm happy that I still have the autograph, but it's just, I thought it would be bigger. But yeah, please leave your suggestions below of where I can put this or how to display it. I just give me some ideas. It's like I have the signed Nile Polaroid from the show. I absolutely love it. I love that it's a signed Polaroid. I don't want to put it on my wall because I don't want to damage it, but then it's too small to go on a CD. So I'm lost there. I want to like store them correctly and I want to protect them, but then also like look at them. I remember I watched um, Conan Gray like on his YouTube channel, like doing like what's my bag videos and like room tours and everything. I was here in the YouTube YouTube days when he was doing YouTube. That is how early I've known about Conan. <laughs> and I remember when his EP came out, Sunset Season, it was honestly one of the best EPs I've ever heard. Like it was so, so nice. And I finally got that on final recently. It took blimming years. It literally took five, six years for me to find it, but I found it in the end, which is great. The photo isn't of them together now, which is a little bit annoying because now it looks like I'm going insane. <laughs> but I found my order confirmation. Look at the pressing of the um, Ali Rose vinyl. That is not the translucent that I just pulled out. It's it's kind of more of like a muddy, like purpley color. Yeah, I was expecting more of that. Again, I'm not mad because I'm happy, you know, it looks like that, but it looks like a more dark burgundy color online. So yeah, I was just very confused, but regardless, I'm very happy with the record and I'm happy I have it in my collection. So my favorite songs are Found Heaven, Never Ending Song, Lonely Dancers, Ali Rose, Miss You, should I even try and pronounce the Virgiosis? That one. <laughs> Eye of the Night, Boys and Girls, and Killing Me. They are my favourites on the album. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss any future content from myself. I really want to try and make it to. It's a bit of a stretch. It's a bit of a milestone but i want to try and make it to 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year yes it is a bit of an ask <laughs> but i'm optimistic i'm optimistic even if we hit like 3,000 subscribers i'll be happy like yeah and the more you guys like and subscribe and everything the more i'll know to do more vinyl content and it will help me out so i can purchase more records for you guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time with a brand new video bye <laughs>